give off a nice golden glow, gorgeous decorative metal fittings. Kazari Kanagu. It is used to decorate shrines and temples. The word Kazari is a compound word keen gold and Kagawasi aromatic. At the Uzhima Tenmangu Shrine in Bunkuo, Tokuo. Worship the god of learning, Michizane Sugawara. The Kazari Kanago is used to decorate the main hall. The current structures of the Shinto Shrine were rebuilt in 1995. Traditional techniques are used here, preserving cultural values forever. In the precincts, a pair of dad and son are walking with the priest. Mr. Kobawasi Masao has been involved in producing many Kazari Kanagu mounted here. And Kobawasi's decorative fittings inside the main hall as well. On Nagasi beam running between columns, Kobawasi's Kazari Kanagu is mounted with various patterns. In addition, there is a pattern of seven plum blossoms and small beads decorated on the stairs to the shrine of God, Kamisama. This time, he came with Hiro Uki, his son, or the disciple as well to do the work. これだけの飾り金具がですね、あるかという Otsu City, Shiga Prefecture, facing Lake Biwa. This time our main character is a young man who is working hard to learn techniques from his great father. Engraver, Kobawasi Hiroyuki. Born as the eldest son in a family related to decorative metal fittings from the grandfather's generation. His childhood playground was his father's workshop. He had many opportunities to touch the tools. He was absorbed with soccer when he was a student and no longer touching tools though. However, when he was in college, he saw a big turning point. It all started when he saw a craftsman in Italy, where he studied abroad. Italy, I went there. When he graduated, he officially requested to become a disciple studied under his father, a master craftsman, Mr. Kobawasi Masao. Sticking to traditional techniques, made one by one, he has worked on decorative metal fittings for Issei Shrine, Kasuga Taisa Shrine, and many other shrines and temples. Since then, he has been hitting the chisel next to his father for over 10 years. This time is the first Kazari Kanagu challenge. The challenge is a luxuriously decorated sliding door handle. Used in the main room of a castle. 
where all the techniques of Kazari Kanagu are concentrated. He started the challenge from his father. This door handle is made of several parts after putting them together. First, to manipulate the delicate items, it is necessary to prepare one sheet of metal in a thick 1.2 millimeters. Before forming, the metal is heat treated to become more tender and easier to manipulate. When the metal plate has been softer, it is shaped to match the pattern. Put the metal plate in. between two mold plates. By creating thickness, a small amount of metal also creates a sense of certainty and elegance. A masterpiece created from metal. At first, Knock around the metal plate in a mold. Soft metals could be able to easily bend the corners at regular intervals. When the corners are rounded, do the second extra time to make the outlines highlighted. The shape of the object is formed from the metal plate. The use of Kazari Kanagu for decoration was begun around the 7th century. From the Momoama period to the Edo period, it became complicated. Sogun and Daimuo demanded higher decorative techniques than the coastal population. Kazari Kanagu did not fade after hundreds of years, with many Kazari Kanagu of 400 years ago were being kept as national treasures at Nishi Hongani Temple in Kuoto. This was the first time we tried to manipulate such Kazari Kanagu. When the main shape is formed, it will be cut out. This is a special chisel called Kiri Tagane, is used to cut off the metal excess. <laughs> When you finish hitting the chisel, the bullion metal is separated. Then, create patterns shaped like wild boar's eyes. When the shape is in place, file the unevenness of the metal on the rib surface. The next step is to use a tool called scraping to remove the residue and give it a glossy finish. A lot of brilliance was born's. Next is the charcoal polishing phase.
Water and fine particles are cheap materials for surface polishing. The process, called charcoal sharpening, is important preparation for the gold plating process. After this process, the rough surface has been completely removed, ready for gold plating. How did this metal plate become so brilliant gold? What techniques were used? Using mercury and gold. The gold foil is applied twice onto the metal surface. Initially, gold was dissolved by mercury. But when heated, mercury evaporates and gold appears. Legend has it that this method dates back to the Heian period. Mercury and gold were used on copper surfaces to model structure durable and homogeneous. To make gold more beautiful, a polishing tool is used on the surface. Use more soapy water and carefully polish. Before and after polishing. The difference is very clear. Put the model in the mold. And pour the hot resin in. The model's mold is formed after the resin cools. Next, use ink to draw patterns on the model. Lines are formed using a tool called Ketanane. to create continuous grooves. きれいな線になるように一台一台全て気持ちを込めて打っています。Patterns are formed on the model by carving each one by one stroke. When the work was over, Kobawasi went to one place, which was the Kara Bridge at Seta. Seta is the only river originating from Lake Biwa. The bridge across the river has an idiom engraved here. To reach Kuoto Castle from the east, take a boat through Lake Biwa or walk through the Kara Bridge at Seta. The shortest path is by boat, but you often take risks when strong winds continuously blow down from the mountains. The best thing you should do is walk across the bridge. Visiting this bridge helps me not forget that being careful is an extremely important skill. 
The entire patterns, on decorative items, are made very sophisticated, and completely by hand. The yellow surface is separated, little by little. By the way, everything is separated, and only the pattern remains that stand out. Because the thickness of the metal is only 1.2 millimeters, so need to be very careful, should not be peeled too deep. After one year, the work has not ended. In the gap, must be decorated. To do this, use a round-headed tool called Nanako Tagane which generates a variety of small particles, shaped like fish eggs. ずれてしまうと全てがずれてしまうので、一座一座に集中して打たないと取り返しがつかなくなってしまうので、非常に難しいです。Today, they are making small particles. Strike the hit rhythmically. Type each beat regularly, do not rush. Waiting for the best time to call. He asked his father to consider the small particles. だ、Still working quietly, albeit slowly, the small particles are carved very carefully through. The work of carving small particles is finally completed. Next is split, the innermost part. It needs to be carefully separated. Otherwise, everything will be destroyed. After being separated, The part with small particles will be black. As 
A solution of potassium sulfide has been used since ancient times. It reacts chemically, turning the surface pattern of the black color, while also forming a protective layer from dirt and preventing rust. Once completed, the appearance has changed significantly. This model consists of six parts. Six parts are used, including the seat. The final process is assembling. Wear gloves to avoid your hands getting oily. Then go to the last part. And then, the luxuriously decorated sliding door handle has been completed. As a traditional technique, it takes a lot of time and effort, and can only be done by hand, to achieve such beauty. From ancient to the present, Many people were fascinated by the decorations made in that way. I wonder how his first challenge would be. The small dots remain and not be changed to black color due to the gold has not been removed off. おもいました。父のやっぱり仕事を見てみると、その細かい部分まで普段の訓練ですね。まだまだ技術は甘いんですけれども、ね、もっと技術を磨いてより良い作品をたくさん残していければと思ってます。One hit and one hit. Hitting metal to catch up with the master will never be an easy path. But one day, a future that shines like metal fittings is waiting. He opens the door to tomorrow and takes another step towards his dream.